Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to show you how to select and replace the hinges on a cabinet door. Specifically, I'm working on a bathroom vanity here, but this also pertains to many different hinge designs within the kitchen. So I've already removed the door and you can see this door and, and vanity have been painted and they also painted the hinges along the way. So instead of trying to soak this and get kind of some of this busted up paint off of it, I'm just gonna get new ones. It's only a couple bucks per hinge, so it's gonna save me time and be a, a better looking product in the end. Specifically, this type of hinge is a face mount hinge. It's got a self-closing feature and it has no inset. Now, if you don't know what each of those things means, no problem, I'm gonna walk you through each of those and then that's gonna help you select and get the correct hinges so you can have everything line up and also have the updated look of your new hinges. So let's jump in and help you select the right hinges. Removing the hinges are pretty self-explanatory, but if you do have a painted door like this, I would recommend scoring around the hinge with a razor blade to reduce the amount of damage you do to the paint as you remove it. Then just remove the two mounting, two or three mounting screws, depending on your hinge design, and that's all there is to it. So you have your hinge removed, and before you make the trip down the big box store, let's go over some of those features we talked at the start of the video. So this hinge, you can see the painted surface that I wanna cover up. So I'm gonna definitely note the overall shape and design of this mounting surface, and that is the face mount. You can see it's mounted flush with what's called the face frame of the cabinet. So that's one feature of this hinge. The next feature is the closing feature. You can see how it has spring action. You can see a little bit that piece that compresses in when I open this hinge. So that is the self-closing part of this where you'll see it'll snap back and it'll want to keep the door closed. And then this has no inset, right? So this mounting surface on, that will go on the back of the cabinet door is flush to the face frame. So what would an inset look like? I do have an example hinge here that would have an inset. So this would mount to the face frame like our other hinge. It has no self-closing feature, it's just a piano hinge. And then when it's fully closed, you can see this zigzag here, that is the inset. So this would mount to the back of the door and at least a portion of the door would go within the opening in the face frame and this is a 3 8 of an inch inset. So depending on what kind of hinge you have, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to that as you go down to the big box store and that's why you want this removed and you want it with you so you can match up this hinge to your new hinges that you're going to buy. All right so now we have our hinges back and we want to install them. You can see I'm going from a two hole design to a three hole design and you'll also the pack will come with two different size screws. This larger screw is going to mount the door to the face frame so we don't need that. We need these smaller screws which will attach this hinge to the door. Now things don't match up perfectly, right? So this plate was a little bit larger before and now that I have those three mounting holes. So I'm just centering it up and then I will mark the center of each hole because I'm going to draw some pilot holes. I don't know if you guys have ever used this but these little Milwaukee ink saw pins are awesome. I used to always use Sharpies if you want to know exactly this one, look down in the description, you'll see a link to those type of pens. They work awesome for this type of project. All right, and then I'm using a 564 drill bit. Just put a little painter's tape on there, which is going to be a reference to how deep I should go. All right, now to mount, these, I'm not gonna use a cordless drill. I'm gonna hand tighten just to make sure that I don't damage anything and strip out this hole. I would rather not make this a lo longer project than it needs to be. All right, so now we have the new hinge mounted to the door. So let's go install the door and see how it looks. All right, so now we have the door back at the vanity. So I'm just gonna start off 
by mounting the top screw. Just be a little careful not to put the weight on just a partially threaded in screw. So hold the cabinet door in place and start to thread that top screw. Now I will not thread that screw all the way in before starting the bottom screw. Just want to make sure everything's lining up correctly. All right, so now I can tighten it down and I will thread in the other two. All right, so with everything secured, you can test out the door. Seems like everything lines up. There's no gaps, so everything looks good. All right, so hopefully that gives you an idea on how to swap out those hinges. There are a lot of different varieties and types, so take your time selecting that so you can make it a one trip opposed to like a two or three trip project. Now, if you have any questions, jump down in the comments. I'm always in there and happy to help out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you take off as we have weekly videos coming out to help you with repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.